Okay, so I'm actually on vacation and I thought I'd add at the beginning of my cleaning video. I don't have my usual brushes. I brought these on vacation. Um, so prevention is key. So I actually brought my travel paint puck here. So I have one at home and this one collapses. So it's flat, it's kind of great. Um, so I like this because it has the little things on the bottom. So you can like swish your brush through it here and then you can let it you know hang here so it's let me turn this so you can see it's in the water so it stays clean and then it's hanging upside down because if you leave it like this your brushes will bend um, so this is helpful and then if you want to dry it you can you know get excess water off and you can dry it here upside down that lets all the water come out of the ferrule here and drip down. So prevention is probably the first key thing you have to learn when you're trying to take care of your brushes. Okay, so I'm, now I'm going to jump to the videos I recorded at home about all the stuff that I do once the brush is dirty. Okay, so we're going to use this brush cleaner by the Masters. So it's water activated. I think I already have some water in there, but you can put a little and then we'll take our brushes and we'll take it one at a time and you just kind of swish it in there okay, and then I kind of rub it in a little bit pull out any old paint that I can dislodge and this conditions and cleans. So I'm gonna do all the brushes here. Okay. And we'll rinse it in. And then I'm going to go upstairs and use, and now I'm going to go upstairs and use a brush shaper for the last step. But they're clean and conditioned and look so much better. Okay, so last step, I'm going to use the speedball brush shaper. And we'll just dip the brush in here. I just shape it with my fingers and then I'll wash my hands. Perfect. There you go. Then they work much better clean.